day in his Ujima. Uh, this is a perfect story that goes along with it. And a, f a friend of mine through Facebook, uh, who's a fellow uh, farmer and uh, working in the community in Detroit, uh, uh, Malik Yakini, Y-A-K-I-N-I. -I. Uh, <clears throat> he is the uh the uh it it says the little red hen a classic story retold by malik yakin once upon a time in a village in africa a hen scratched about the yard until she uncovered some grain of wheat she called to her neighbors and said if we plant this wheat we can have bread to eat. Who will help me plant? Not I, said the cow. Slavery is over. Not I, said the goat. I, it probably won't grow anyway. Not I, said the duck. I'm much too busy. Not I, said the lamb. I don't do dirt. Then I will... Uh, then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. After a few uh, months, the wheat grew tall, reaping uh, into golden grain, reaching up to the sun. Beneficial insects and beautiful birds began to return to the village. The little red hen again called to her neighbors, Who will help me harvest the wheat? Not I, said the cow. My stomach ate. Not I, said the goat. I don't really get involved with groups. Not I, said the duck. I have the wheat allergy. Not I, said the lamb. My favorite rapper, Young Shepherd, is performing in a free concert this afternoon. Then I will harvest it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. The hen carried the wheat back to the house and asked her neighbors, Who will help me grind the wheat into flour? Not I, said the cow. I already have two jobs. Not I, said the goat. I don't have anyone to watch my kids. <clears throat> Not I said the duck. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get paid. Not I said the lamb. You running game, hen. You're trying to pull wool over my eyes. Then I will grind it myself, said the little red hen, and she did. After resting for the ex exhausting work of grinding the grain, the little red hen made one last attempt to solicit help of her neighbors. Who will help me make flour? into dough and baked the bread she was met with the usual literally excuses not i said the cow chewing uh turtle taking all the energy out of me not i said the goat my kids have music lessons not i said the duck my cousin donald and his family are visiting from out of town not i said the lamb i am studying for a real estate license then I baked the bread myself, said the little red hen, and she did. As the aroma of fresh bread drifted out into the village, the little red hen neighbors began to gain to gather outside of her dough. Who will help me eat this bread? asked the little red hen. I will, said the cow. I will, said the goat. I will, said the duck. I will, said the lamb. No, you won't, said the little red hen. None of you practice Ujima, collective work and responsibility. However, my beloved neighbors, I didn't grind out the grain. I started a seed bank to have wheat for next year. Here's a handful of grain for each of you. And she sent them packing. As the little red hen sat down to enjoy her still warm bread with honey from the beehive that her friend Abby maintained at a local farm, the cow, the goat, the duck, the lamb called a meeting to form an organic, sustainable farming collective. The next uh, season, they all worked together planting, harvesting, and grinding their wheat and baked bread. There was plenty for all. 
they donated some of the animals who were homeless and sick and sold a surplus of, to farmers markets and neighboring villages. The, vis the village continued to prosper even after manufacturing, farming, and baking equipment. The Little Red Hen was elected chief of council, of the village council. So the moral of the story, do your part. Uh, there are many lessons in here. Uh, when you do your part, you don't worry about nobody else. And uh, and if people don't work, they don't eat. But you can give them a little something that they can survive on. Uh, we can start manufacturing in our own community by working together. Uh, and we always have enough to share with other people. Uh, we can actually work together, and I think that's what this story is about for me. Anybody have anything to say?